Hey guys, today I'm going to be breaking down the improvements in 1080p graphics, load time and VR experience between the PS4 Pro and the vanilla PS4. Titanfall 2 supposedly has a more stable 60fps frame rate and more detail and it does seem to be a touch more stable but the difference in visuals is barely noticeable to my eyes. Skyrim however, the graphical upgrades are pretty noticeable. You can see that the textures look a lot sharper and the shadows also look more realistic thanks to some ambient occlusion. Unfortunately though, just like Uncharted 4, both games are still running at 30 fps on the pro now we all know that uncharted looks amazing in 4k on the ps4 you've probably already seen some images of that unfortunately though i don't have a 4k display i'm waiting until they've got some good low response time 4k hdr monitors and that's going to be at least a few months time so i'm not going to waste loads of money on a tv now and in my view the graphical upgrades to the 1080p version are pretty minor on the pro again you can see objects are more sharp again particles of the water look a little bit more realistic as well but other than that i can't really pick much out we're now moving on to the difference in load time and this is actually the exact same saved game on my PS4 Pro and the PS4. Luckily it's really easy to transfer everything from one PS4 to the other or a PS4 to the Pro. All you need to do is be connected to the same network via Ethernet cables and I think it did it for me in about an hour and a half and it takes all your games, all your saved data, all your accounts, everything on there for you. So it definitely really is easy to do and this test I found that it took 18.5 seconds on the Pro to load and then 22 seconds on the PS4 regular. So that's a difference in basically 16%. So again, not a massive jump there. Obviously, that may well vary depending on the game. And I don't know if it's a placebo, but I felt that some games were loading about 30% quicker. Again, this is the only test I've done and it's 16%. We're now moving on to VR and this is actually the main reason that I bought the Pro to see if it would improve my VR experience and it definitely does but I'm going to go into that in a bit. So basically this is VR Worlds and you can see again that there are some graphical upgrades. Everything looks a bit sharp. You can see there's less noticeable pixelation on those fish there and you can actually notice this increase in sharpness inside of the headset itself. Moving on to Eagle Flight now and I didn't actually notice any graphical upgrades here. What I did notice though is that there's much less pop-in and it creates a much smoother and less intrusive VR experience. I tried this out in Windlands as well. Sorry, I don't have the footage to show you on that. But that's a game that made me feel really ill before and I actually felt completely fine. PS4 Pro seems to completely get rid of that motion sickness aspect, which is awesome. I don't know if it's going to be like that in every game, but it definitely made a massive change to me in Eagle Flight and Windlands. So I think that's definitely something to consider if you are thinking about getting a Pro. What I would say though is that it's a bit early on. I haven't really tested it that much and it may well just be a placebo. So I would say do some digging online and find out if using the PS4 Pro over the vanilla PS4 for VR really does reduce motion sickness. In conclusion, the Pro definitely does improve 1080p graphics and down the line it is said to be able to allow players to play current 30fps titles at 60fps. The question is whether these tiny improvements are just the beginning of the gap between the Pro and its predecessor or if the difference is going to get more and more noticeable as we go on. One thing that is obvious though is that the Pro is meant to be a 4K gaming machine so if you're not planning on getting a 4K display it's probably not worth it, that's the honest truth. Although if you do like playing VR and you do sometimes get motion sick or you just want the optimal VR experience then that is another reason to think about getting the Pro. Alright guys that's it for this video definitely check my channel out if you want to see the PS4 Pro in action again I'm going to be playing Steep it's the closed beta I'm going to be playing that tonight and I may have a few videos up of that tonight and then tomorrow and Monday I'm going to be doing the complete walkthrough of Watch Dogs 2 I managed to get that early really looking forward to that I love the original I'm also going to be doing a review of Watch Dogs 2 down the line thanks for watching and I'll see you next time peace